Hi Soya Beans, it's Soya. I finally got a camera. <laughs> that means top quality videos for you guys. In today's video, we are going to talk about the two new romance club stories, Heaven's Secret Requiem and Estria's Broken Heart. We are going to discuss these two new stories and also their similarities because they are suspiciously similar to each other. But before we get into the video, I would like to invite all of my lovely soya beans to my Telegram channel. Join for extra romance club and soya content. This is a special exclusive soya club. Let's start with Heaven's Secret Requiem. This story is a post-apocalyptic story. We have immortals, angels, demons, and we also have mortals, normal, ordinary people, and we also have some infected zombie-like people, as well as demon spawns. The story takes place in Siberia, Russia, in a town called Rutkov, where three years ago, a military research base collapsed underground for unknown reasons, opening a huge rift at the site of the disaster. The lead characters of the story are all part of another research team, an elite task force who were sent to Siberia to investigate the rift, the cause of the disaster, and also to find the Book of Apocalypse. During their search, they encounter the main character, whose default name is Lane, who appeared out of nowhere. And twist twist, she's supposed to be dead. She's supposed to die with the collision because she worked at the military research base as a cryptographer, enciphering the book of apocalypse. Turns out she has amnesia, so she does not remember what happened to her. She has no idea what happened in the past three years. She has no memories whatsoever. But this main character seems very, very unique and special. First of all, these creatures who are supposed to be very dangerous and deadly, they won't harm her. They are not a threat to her, they are not afraid of her, and she is not afraid of them either. Especially on the Whisper of the Devil path, she's so bold, she's so brave. She even went to touch one of the infected people and everything was fine, nothing happened. She seems to be very out of touch with reality and also there is another very weird thing about her. Something is definitely wrong. She feels very alien in her body. She seems to have no feelings, human feelings. I mean, she has kind of some like weak emotions, but she doesn't really know what to do with them, where they are coming from, which is very, very strange. And this leads us to two theories. One of them is the main character died and somehow she came back to life. She is not an immortal, but she is also not a human. She's someone in between them. Maybe she found something in the book of Apocalypse and as it said in the story, she went crazy. And that leads us to a second theory, which is she sacrificed herself in order to open the rift. From the plot so far, we could see in the CG video that there is a lot of blood, there is a bathtub, and there is also the book of Apocalypse with a huge pentagram on it. Maybe she, you know, literally sacrificed herself in order to open up the portal to another universe. And that would also explain her strange scar on her hand. Interesting. Let's talk about a little bit of our angel Cain, who is not really angelic at all. Some people say that he's a fallen angel or an outcast angel because of the red eyes and his nature, like he's not very angelic, he's not nice, he's very strict, very cold, and a little bit rude. He's also wearing an inverted cross, and some people believe that this is very satanic sign of an antichrist, but that's actually not the case. It's the cross of Saint Peter, because in Christianity, he asked to be crucified upside down, so it's not very satanic symbol, it's just an antichrist symbol in the media. So it's not like 100% demonic. Just to clarify, okay? <laughs> we have a lot of mysteries surrounding this story. It's safe to say that Cain knows 
a lot more and the book of the apocalypse will play a huge role in the plot and in the storyline as well now let's talk about our second story Astria's broken heart after a tragic encounter with a crazy patient our main character her default name is Audrey lost her job and medical license and she decided to start new and apply for a new job as a psychological evaluator at Astria Detective Agency. This agency is not an ordinary agency. <laughs> right off the bat, in the first two episodes we meet our four male love interests and we had the chance to get to know them better. The plot is not really progressing. These two episodes were more focused on getting to know the male love interests better. But we had some storyline progression as well. We had our first case, which surprise surprise is nothing special, nothing paranormal, just an ordinary boring investigation. Despite the fact that this agency deals only with supernatural and paranormal related cases. Hmm. It will be very interesting to see this story progress. Now that we finished discussing both stories, let's talk about their similarities. First of all, the main character in both stories is very well educated. One of them is a psychologist and one of them is a cryptographer. Both require brain. Both young ladies are also having very realistic precognitive dreams or more like nightmares. Both stories have a very, very gloomy, paranormal, mystical, horror slash stealer vibes to it which I personally don't mind some like dark themes as long as it's exciting and good <laughs> in both stories we also have hidden game sets and another huge similarity is that in both stories religion takes a huge role and that specific religion is Christianity Catholic religion we see crosses everywhere <laughs> and also a very huge similarity in the plot is that we are both joining a new team slash new group now let's discuss the love interest similarities which is crazy to me we have the usual higher status boss figure love interest who seems to be loved by everyone both of them are very very popular romantic interests Dimitri in Heaven's Secret for Krem and Michael in Ashria's Broken Heart. They are both very authoritative, serious and restrained. And we also have the funny guy, the bright guy, the life of the party, the very positive and optimistic character. We have David in Ashria's Broken Heart and Greg in Heaven's Secret for Krem. Both of them are like bright suns in the story. And if we have bright sun, we also need a moon. <laughs> a very cold, mysterious and smart guy who knows a lot more and says nothing. We have Kane in Heaven's Secret for Krem and we have Kesha in Astria's Broken Heart. The two female love interests are also very very similar in these stories. They are both very strong, bold and tough and they both work in a male dominated industry. We have Anna in Heaven's Secret Requiem and we have Felonia in Astria's Broken Heart. We don't really know her yet but I have a feeling that she will be a badass as well. <laughs> Last but not least I want to mention Raphael. Who is a very unique love interest in Astria's Broken Heart? He reminds me of Liam a lot. They are both very artistic and melancholic. We love those vibes. <laughs> I can save you. I promise I can save you. <laughs> those were all the things that I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you my lovely soya beans in the next one. If you have any suggestions or comments, let me know down below. Bye! Oh my god, this camera, the quality is amazing. Now I have to look good in every video. <laughs>